So I've got two Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy Packs, OG Packs, Nostalgia Packs, the very first original packs from 2002. These were pricey. These were like 80 bucks each. So right here we've got like 160 bucks. Very expensive. I wish I could open more, but like I say, 80 bucks. So two will have to do it. All right, so I'm going to start with Feral Servant. I'll leave the, the best for last. And here we go, Feral Servant. Now, what can we pull? What can we pull? Since it's so expensive, I kind of... I want to be very careful with the wrapper too because I feel like the wrapper is worth a lot of money too. And I've actually seen eBay posts that they just sell the wrapper and they want like 10, 15 bucks. Some of them even have uh, bids, like they have it on bid mode. So that's that's insane, you know, just selling the wrapper on eBay. Crazy. Anyway, we've got Bombardment Beetle. Then we've got Twin-Headed Fire Dragon right there. Followed by Invitation to a Dark Sleep. There he is. And then we've got Mystic robe okay last one last i mean the next one is the rare or the hollow let's check it out okay we got skull invitation okay it's not, it's not a bad card actually every time a card is sent to the graveyard inflict 300 points of direct damage to its owner's life points per card oh, okay so this could burn you too all right and Infinite Dismissal. Oh, that one was used by uh, Weeble in the... When he was going up against Rex. Yeah, I remember this one. Infinite Dismissal. Berman. Seven Completed. And Enchanted Javelin. Okay, so... Not a, not a bad pack. Would have been cool if you got, like, Jinzo. That would have been cool. Um, I don't have too many fond memories of Feral Servant. And that's because it came out a month earlier than the other packs. So usually Konami would release a pack every three months. But this one came out a month earlier. Uh, I don't know why. And to me, it got overshadowed by the first wave of collectible tins that came out. And then right after this one's release, they got the McDonald's promo going on. So, you know... I started trying to buy the tins and the Happy Meals instead of this pack. And well, that's how I got overshadowed in, in um, back in the day. So, okay, here we go. My favorite pack right here, Magic Ruler. Look at that. Magic Ruler. Okay. Okay. Hoping for something cool. I hope I don't get, like, Mother Grizzly or UFO Turtle, any of those searcher cards. I've got a bunch of them back in the day. Um, I'm not saying they're bad cards. I just, like I say, I just have a bunch of those. And I, I hope I can pull a foil off of this. I hope, I hope, out of this $80 pack. Okay, Stone Augury Grotto. Grotto. F five stars, 1600. One of those bad vanilla Magic Ruler cards. Okay, Chain Energy. I've always loved the photo of this card. High Tide. Geojin. Okay, it's another cool looking card. Four stars, 1650. Not bad, not bad. We've got Boar Soldier. Boar Soldier, okay. Kaiba sacrificed this one to power up, uh, was Obelisk, I think, along with Mahavelu. That was cool. Okay, okay. And, okay, here it is. The rare Amoeba. Um, what does this do? Uh, when this card is face up, control shifts to your opponent, inflict 2,000 of direct damage to your opponent's life points. Okay, that's that's kind of doable. You could use some um, creature swap with this and inflict 2,000 points of damage. Because I could see this being used like in a burn deck. Okay, Amoeba. Okay. I hardly ever got this card back in the day. So, okay, this is a, I guess, a nice rare to get over the ones I will be bombarded with. Like I said, it was those uh, searcher cards like Flying Kamakiri, Mother Grizzly, etc. Darkness approaches. Uh, discard two cards. Select one face up monster and flip it face down. Uh, 
Okay, that's not that's not very good. Koto Dama. Very freaky card. This one has always freaked me out. Still does. Very freaky. October, sir. October, sir. So very appropriate. I am doing this in October, so there you go. October, right there, October. Um, five stars, 1600, you know, it's one of those, it's one of those. Oh, last but not least, oh, we got, we got a Hungry Burger. So it officially made this pack worth it. It was worth the $80 just, just to pull this, just to pull this. Amazing. Amazing. They should they should re-release this card and ha make it make it have an effect or two, you know, make it playable, make it meta meta relevant. That'd be cool. I've always loved the picture, the art in this, along with hamburger recipe. Hungry burger. Wow. 2000 attack. Nice. This monster can only be ritual summoned with the ritual magic card. Hamburger recipe. You must also offer monsters whose total level stars equal six or more as a tribute from the field or your hand. All right. There it is. Magic ruler pack for 80 bucks in 2021. There you go. There you go, guys. There you go. All right. I hope you hope you all enjoyed that. I did. It was a blast from the past. Took me back to 2002 Yu-Gi-Oh! Have a great day, everybody.